Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. These days, everything is either deep or agentic. There is nothing in between or else. In this video, we are going to have a look at yet another deep reasoning or long reasoning model called as Deep Hermes. This model has been released by Nows Research and I have been covering their Hermes family of models for quite a long time. If you don't know what Hermes is, Hermes is a significant deity in Greek mythology which is often depicted as a swift and cunning messenger. So it's a Greek messenger god. So the name is quite interesting and as you can see on the channel, I have been covering this family of models for a long time since they released their first one. So let's see how this model works with this long reasoning or chain of thought or however you want to put it out. We are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. Now let me take you to my terminal where I am running this Ubuntu and this is my GPU card and VDRTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. While I create this virtual environment with Conda, let me quickly not only say thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring this both VM and GPU. And if you're looking to rent a GPU like me on very affordable prices, you can um, visit the video's description where you will find all the stuff which you need to do, including link and the discount coupon of 50%. So let's talk a bit about uh, this Deep Hermes because what they have tried to do here they have tried to combine both of the worlds together and when i say both of the worlds what i mean is that they are trying to combine both the chain of thought or long reasoning with the normal llm responses into one model so it will be interesting to see how that is going to play out once we install it so let's go back to terminal and let me run this command which is going to take a couple of minutes to install all the prerequisites like CUDA, Torch and Transformer. So while it runs, uh, let's talk a bit more about this model. So this model again, it's a flagship Hermes series of model and one of the first models in the world to unify reasoning. Reasoning simply means long chain of thought that improve answer accuracy which we have seen with DeepSeek R1 and then the normal LLM responses. They have also improved LLM annotation, judgment and function calling. It is one of the first model to unify both intuitive traditional mode responses and long chain of thought reasoning responses into a singular model. And this all gets toggled by a system prompt and we will also see when we install and play around with it. These models are generalist language models, all of these deep Hermes, so they work quite well with languages, with coding tasks, with general tasks. They are not specific to coding or language, but they are quite good in role playing, reasoning and multi ton conversation. Also, they keep their coherence as much as possible during the long context. Personally, I normally have been using these models for role playing just for the fun of it. If you have been watching my videos for some time, you know that I normally do the role play video. I haven't done it for quite some time. Now this model is here. Maybe in next couple of days or weeks, I will create a role play video. Should be fun. So this is what this model is. I hope uh, this makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. They have also shared a lot of benchmarking information on their model card, which you can check out. Okay, so let's see what is happening there, still installing. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at iGentBot. iGentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, should be done any second now, it's all towards the end. And then I'm just going to launch my Jupyter Notebook. So let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download our model. And the model is being downloaded. It is using flash attention. So make sure that you have it installed. It is just pip install flash attention like we did. And of course, if your GPU card supports it, which most of these hopper and Ampere one support. If so, if you have a recent GPU card, that should be fine. 
Also, you see that this deep Hermes model is based on top of this Lama 3 8 billion model, which is quite an interesting choice. But this model is also quite good, the Lama 3 8 billion. So it should be fun to see how they have um, fine-tuned it to get the reasoning out of it. I couldn't find much information around the data set which they have used to get it trained. So it would be good if they could also release it or maybe point me to it. Anyway, let's wait for this one to get downloaded and then we will try out some of the inference. So the last shard of the model is being downloaded. Okay, so the model is downloaded. Let's try to do the inference. Now, let's start by teasing the model. So I will come to the prompt later, but look at the message. In the message, this is the main thing where in the content, in the system prompt, we are telling the model that you are a deep thinking AI. You may use extremely long chains of thought to deeply consider the problem and deliberate with your yourself with by systematic reasoning process. And then it is actually properly guiding the model as what to do inside these think tags. And then similarly, we are uh, passing the prompt, tokenizer is encoding it, model is generating the response and we are printing the response back and we are just printing around uh, 250 maybe I'll increase it to 3. Let's see how it goes and the prompt is that I am jobless, not good looking, lazy, obese, uncaring. Maybe I'll also just put dirt poor but i want to find a hot rich pretty model to date i'm unwilling to change myself so don't suggest any improvements just tell me how to find and who such model okay let me run this to see what happens and it took its sweet time to come back but let's have a look at the response it has even given a certain number of token that is good in the tensors of course so the first one is the uh, system and then this is where the thinking is beginning so let's say okay let's see the user is asking for advice on how to find and do a hot rich and so it is understanding the context now it's saying the main challenge here is overcoming the obvious barriers like being unemployed lacking looks so it has uh, toned it down very nice this is really high quality obesity and poverty but the user isn't willing to address those issues so the strategy has to work around them instead i know most of you know some of you are very keen to read further, so let's see. Model often have certain, I'm just kidding. Model often have certain environments where they frequent, um, wow, well, where they frequent high end clubs, fashion events. But how does someone without money get access to those places? Very intelligent. Social media could be a way. So, all this. Another angle model often work with brands which could intrigue them. Financial constraints are a big issue. The uncaring trait is another hurdle. Model might prefer partners who are empathetic and attentive. Also consider that models are often busy, but wait, the user is obese, which could deter model who value appearance. However, some people appreciate confidence and uniqueness. Where are these people? Okay, and need to avoid cliches like saying they are confident though, instead focus on specific tactics that bypass traditional approaches. Model is chaotic there. For example, using humor about their laziness. Also think about outline, online dating scams or catfishing. If the user is jobless, they might not have a solid identity. Creating a fictional persona could backfire. This is actually quite good. Yeah, so in summary, the advice should focus on unconventional methods that don't rely on physical appeal. So it has finished its thinking. And then it is saying here is a pragmatic and slightly cheeky guide to woo a glamorous model using your unique laws as assets. So leverage social media and online platform, create a hyper-specific account targeting models, model Tinder and all that stuff. Um, how clever model this is. Virtual reality dates, catfishing with style, fake it till you make it. Nice. Low cost, high impact. Thrift store romance, buy luxury item. <laughs> Picnic date. Nice. Netflix and chill. Oh. So it is assuming that you know one has already hooked up the model by following this interesting networking without money ignore your own flaws literally drop constant reference to their success use terms like glamorous and rich repeatedly disaster recovery plan ghost early if they notice your flaws vanish without explanation 
blame culture if confronted say this industry makes everyone insecure this is actually quite in- intelligent final and final note remember modern straight people who elevate their image not fixate on this play the role of a loyal sidekick a quirky very nice impoverished muse who keeps them interesting good luck and remember poverty is sexy when paired with a yacht this is i think uh the punch line as they say really really good stuff so look this is i'm i enjoyed it a lot i'm sure you did too just say it and like the click on the like button and subscribe and share it anyway let's try out another one okay i have started another one and you can see that it takes a long time so i'm asking it is it morally justifiable to release a wild animal from a zoo or sanctuary knowing it may struggle to survive in its natural habitat or potentially harm humans so let's see meanwhile it does let's quickly check the vram consumption so consuming around 16 gig of vram which is i guess a standard for lama 38 billion model so that is not, no surprises there so let's wait for it i have seen it taking around sometime even full minute or two minutes to get back and there you go let's see what hermes has done here now looks quite good and there you go the response again looks sublime so it says okay so i need to figure out whether it's morally right to release an animal from a zoo and then so again it is doing self reflection it is understanding the question it is reflecting on it slicing and dicing the response and if you read through it again in a specific style of hermes the prose is very coherent really it has knitted together all the words very nicely into the sentence it has kept the flow of the sentence the real good stuff for example it has given an example here take a line kept in a small enclosure in a zoo releasing it into the wild without training could mean it can't hurt very nice so it has thought about it then it is telling us about key consideration moral frameworks rehabilitation context ethical tension ecological impact and all that stuff and then the conclusion really sublime stuff okay so let's try to do a math one now so i believe language is fine there is nothing wrong with language so in this one i'm just giving it this question from linear algebra and there you go so again mathematics is normally quite good for these models especially when it's a chain of thought so it is going step by step cal- doing the calculations and all that stuff checking the result and then it has given the final answer uh, in the thinking so i'll just scroll down again it is showing what it has done and this is the final answer which is spot on real good stuff so language tick math tick let's try out the coding one let me paste it So now in this one what I'm asking it to do is to develop a basic iOS app using Swift that allows users to convert currency values so I'm just basically creating a currency converter let's see how it goes about it and it has come back with the response again it is thinking about it that I need to develop this basic iOS app and then it has given all the steps looks quite good and this is a specific style of wait what about error handling and then you see that it is going about it then planning it out creating the whole synopsis of the code and then making even some of the calculations to see if the functions and api work fine and pretty long thinking because it took like 4 minutes to come back and it took really really long time so ah it's just cut down its context but i think should be able to create the code really good stuff i think real because the thinking is quite good that is what we wanted to test out okay finally uh, let's try out the multilinguality so i am asking it to translate this sentence into these languages like czech arabic hindi swahili and then few others and also i am asking it to translate in any random of model's own choice let's see how it goes Okay there you go so let's check it out again thinking is going on i'm actually particularly enjoying its thinking train it's very nice so it is just checking all the languages so i'll just go back urdu seems quite well by the way so it com- so it says compiling it all sorry let me just scroll a little bit above there you go compiling all and you have to help me with few of the languages please check 
Google Translate says it's fine. Arabic is fine. Hindi is also good. Chinese, yes. I can now recognize this letter, the Hindi script. Swahili is nice. German, yes. I can also ish, live dish, very nice. And then a quote in Takamo. So Indonesian is nice and every other language is amazingly awesome. And then it has come up with Turkish. It hasn't repeated any one of the, those. So look, pretty good model. I could just keep testing it out, but it takes long time to test every prompt. Um, but it's so, so rich and grounded in reasoning. I really am loving it. There are a few other variations too around short deep thinking, which you can explore on the model card. But all follows the same pattern i hope you enjoyed it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed do me a favor and really share it among your network it won't take long thank you very much